So in this video, we'll be seeing how to execute the OS commands using the REST language. I have already created a new project using uh, cargo new the project name command exec. So you can open this in Visual Studio Code and you will see the main.rs file. So the code exe um, OS command execution is uh, fairly simple. We need to use uh, process command structure. So this command structure is used to execute the commands. And we will be writing using the command line argument. So for that, we need to import the std nv. So in this, we will have nv, uh, let's say, args is equals to nv uh, args dot collect. So this will, the collect method will throw a vector and we need to catch that one. So we need to convert this into string type. So we have uh the array of strings so the vector is the resizable array that can grow uh in length you can push the elements and you can pop the elements into that uh, arguments vector so we have uh, arcs here arcs of zero consists of the file name and arcs of one consists of the command so we need to say uh, if arcs dot length is equals is equals to two then only we are going to execute the commands else what we are going to do is we are going to print the usage of this uh, file so let's say usage the file name name uh, space command to execute so arcs of zero should be the file name so if i go and run this one and I should see this one usage uh, uh, string. Because I did not give any uh, arguments. There is only one argument that is uh, the file name. So if the length is 2 then we are going to let's write a function first. It will take uh, ampersand str that is the string size as a parameter and it will return a string so first we need to process this one so how we want to execute is cmd.exe slash c our argument here so we need to construct uh, this uh, slash c slash c space argument here so let's say let temp is equals to slash c dot to owned so this will convert this into string so we can concatenate to this uh, argument we have uh, the parameter we are passing so let's uh, say let full command is equals to temp plus cmd so this this will gives us the slash c space the command let's say who am i now in this command structure we can create a new process so that process will be executed as a child process and you can pass the argument you can pass a single argument using the arg function and you can pass the uh, array of string slices you can see here uh, add multiple arguments to the uh, program you can see here arguments of array of string slices so we can say uh, full cmd uh, dot full cmd dot parse sorry we need to split this one split uh, because we need these each element so split using space So let's say this one, let's say collect and let commands is equals to. And I think let's also uh, convert this into st 
so this am present str so sorry for that now we can say args of am present cmds now we need to say dot output dot uh, uh, we can also add the expert here if there is any wrong with this one it will directly create a panic and it will exit out so let's store this one in the result and the output is uh, uh, the result enum with the output and error so what we are going to do is we are going to collect the std out and std error output so we can do this using res dot std out uh, sorry we need to unwrap this one so you can get the output here so from this output we can say res dot std out dot as slice so we are extracting the output into the string slice so we can convert this into uh, string using string from utf8 underscore rasi so let's uh, save this in std out so let's copy this and paste here and change this to stdr so we have both the outputs we need to check std out dot length greater than 0 then that means there is uh, an actual output return std uh, out dot to string else return std r dot to string so we got some error so let's see what we have done in this function we have uh, got this parameter and added to this rash c and we are converting into the array of string sizes and that array of string sizes will be passed into this uh, arguments function so the cmd.exe will be executed with these arguments and then we are collecting the output and error we are checking the length of the output if it's greater than zero then that means there is an output we are returning otherwise we are returning error so now we can say execute command of ampersand args of one so that means uh, we are sending the argument here and let's collect into the output and we can print this one if i go and execute normally i will get this usage so let's uh, go ahead and run this one here cargo run so that's the same program i have copied into the windows box and you can see the command we can also execute powershell so you need to put the quotes if the command has the white space in it so that this entire uh, string will be considered as single argument so that's all about this video how to execute the os commands in rust